How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you some things about interacting with CSS using JavaScript. So um, what I'm going to be covering in this video is relatively new to me. So I recently discovered this as being an actual thing. And what I'm referring to here is the global CSS object within JavaScript. So there's actually quite a few things you can do um, with this object and some of it may be useful, some maybe not, but I think it's worth mentioning just more of a curiosity thing. You don't need to know this absolutely, but um, yeah, I just thought it was interesting and I wanna share it with you guys. So I'm referring to specifically something called the CSS object model which as we can see here is a, uh, just a set of APIs allowing manipulation of CSS from JavaScript. And there are quite a few, um, you know, different things here, things that you may have, um, you know, sort of used before. I'm sure you may have, but I'm talking more about this one here, this CSS um, interface itself. So I'll be, I'll, I'll be leaving a link to um, this in the description down below, but we're going to be having a look at some of these static methods here, which it supports. Um, and uh, by coincidence, one of them is called supports. So I apologize for the confusion of uh, what I just said. But yeah, so we have this supports method, which we're going to be having a look at, as well as some of these CSS numeric factory functions, which I found really, uh, really interesting. So let's start with this one here called supports. Now, I encourage you to, of course, read the documentation for this um, after watching this video. But essentially, uh, this supports method tells you if the browser supports a given CSS feature and value combination. Uh, it's, a, it's a pair. So this works much like the CSS at supports. All right. So let's jump into VS Code here. I'm going to be showing you uh, an example of this. So let's say here console.log and we're going to be using a particular um, CSS property called mozboxalign. So we'll say here uh, CSS.supports and like I said, it's going to be called uh, mozboxalign. So dash moz dash box dash align, okay? Now, the value of this, let's just say start, all right? Now, what's happening here? Well, the moz box align CSS property is only supported in Mozilla Firefox, okay? As to my knowledge, all right? Um, so, we expect this supports to return false in Chrome and true in Firefox. And like I said, this here works much like the uh, at supports in CSS. So if I save this and go back in the browser here, it's going to tell us if Chrome supports this, uh, this, this property value pair. The answer is no, false. So Chrome doesn't support it. I'm going to run the exact same code on Firefox. So let's go into Firefox and we can see here that Firefox gives us true for that output right there. So pretty straightforward, but you can also provide a secondary syntax to this. You don't need to say a separate uh, property and value for each argument. You can actually combine it. So a single string argument to say box line colon star. And that right there is, yeah, that's almost, that's basically one for one with the at supports in CSS. So if I save this, go back both, you know, in both browsers, again, we get false for Chrome and hey, we get true for Firefox. So that is the supports function. It may be useful for you guys. It may not be, but yeah, good to know. You can programmatically check that within JavaScript and not just uh, in CSS with at supports, okay? So going back inside Google Chrome here, I do want to now go over these CSS numeric factory functions. Before starting this segment, let me, let me just start by saying this isn't supported in Firefox as of uh, yeah, February uh, 7th, 2024, okay? Um, so don't use this in production applications unless you have a polyfill or something like that. Um, but 
it's still quite interesting to, to sort of see um, what this is and how it may be useful to you. Maybe you're doing a Chrome only app and you really want to use these. Fair enough, I guess. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind. It's not supported in Firefox. So what do these functions do? Well, it provides you with a much easier way to generate your CSS values for your numeric, uh, yeah, your, your numeric values. So let's go inside uh, uh, VS Code and let's console log CSS dot, we have all of these possibilities, all of these units in CSS. Let's do the typical one, uh, pixels, okay? Press enter, CSS PX, and let's just say 20. What does this give us? Console log, right? Back in the browser, it gives us a CSS unit value, okay? Unit pixels value 20, all right? Now, just for curiosity, let's do dot to string on this. Save this back in the browser, and we get 20 pixels. What is fantastic about this is that you don't need to worry about doing a string append or template strings, right? So let's let's actually uh, let's do this for a a div. Okay, let's let's try and update a div's inline styles. Let's go inside the index HTML and we're going to uh, have a div with an ID of box here. Let's give it some styles. Let's just say box and a width of 400 pixels, a height of 200 pixels, a background of blue, as an example. Back in the browser here, and we get this right here. Let's now update the width to be much smaller in JavaScript. Let's say const box equal to document dot get element by ID, pass through here box. Then we're gonna say box dot style dot width is equal to then CSS dot PX, let's do 20. Save this back in the browser, 20 pixels right there. Okay, so yeah, again, there's no need to worry about doing things like, you know, 20 plus PX and maybe worrying about like if your, if your types are gonna convert correctly, um, things like that, it's all handled, right? Um, or even doing things like, you know, template strings, even better, 20, and then you can say PX just like this. Um, actually, just your variable name, for example, your width variable, and then you say like PX like this. There you go, my, my mistake, guys. But um, yeah, the point is you can just call this and it's much simpler to do, right? Um, but yeah, it's unfortunately not supported in Firefox as of right now. Um Let's hope that, you know, this gets some further support. It's actually supported in uh, more than just Chrome. So if I scroll down, we have uh, Chrome Edge, uh, oops, right down here. Um, yeah, so Chrome Edge, Opera, uh, Safari, uh, you know, and all these, uh, you know, on iOS, etc. But yeah, so no, no Firefox for any of these, uh, you know, numeric factory functions. And of course, again, I encourage you to read the documentation here. There are many more different methods you can use. EM, you know, uh, <laughs> what else is there? Yeah, percent. Basically, all the CSS units, there is an equivalent static method, and you can, of course, use that. Um, yeah, so that's basically for this video, guys. Yeah, like I said, nothing too important to know, but things that I thought interest, you know, that were interesting and I wanted to share with you guys. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.